Yeah, I'd like to go over some of the features of our epics and hydroponics garden. Uh, as on a feature on the website, this is a 4x4 four four, uh, garden kit that you can make. This one is about six years old, and it, everything here is essentially started from seed. You can have your beans, you can have your radishes, and we'll pull one out. It's ready for harvesting. Everything grows well just in a sand matrix. So you can see the top of the sand is very dry. But as soon as you go lower, you go into the moisture part. And this is what, where you have the perfect oxygen water ratios plants need for growing things. A so simple arrangement, you can have a trellis or things like peas or vine growth. And this is placed on the north side, giving still so southern exposure to the beans you're growing. Another feature you can easily make is by putting four corners around the same garden bed simply with screws it gives you the ability especially in hot desert climates to provide a sunshade environment that can be protective of crops like uh, these cauliflowers that are growing and uh, and lettuce which are cold weather crops so this is a sunshaded place it gives you shading, it reduces sunlight about 50% and makes the plants more durable for being damaged from extreme sun conditions. Uh, with the same setup, you can go a step further and you can have greenhouse panels which are removable around the system. This gives you wind protection and it's a mini greenhouse. It'll give you frost protection in the early spring and late fall and in some climates you can almost grow yearly. Um, even though the greenhouses get hot, removing the panels halfway or totally gives you wind protection and protection from rabbits. Even if the panel is down, it's only halfway up so the rabbits can get into the unit. Uh, and it vents it out. It vents it out so the heat vents out plants get too tall later in August, you can remove by unclipping the clips here. The panel is removable totally and you can let the plants grow taller than the original tree foot height. Sure. Now oh, here's some water over here. Well, actually this garden, as you've seen, has been watered for the last couple hours. This is where the water comes in. So the source for the water is actually at the low end at the other end of the interconnected garden. So all these gardens are actually watered from a single point right here. And when this gets at saturation level, it passes through the drain of the first garden, goes downhill and goes up to the next garden. And then when this one fills being level, it goes to the next garden. And that last one is a little lower. to the next garden and the last overflow is our pump arrangement so removing the cover here is the outlet coming in from the last garden even though it was fed in the first garden and there we have a fist size pump and it could be solar powered and the pump the size only has to pump one gallon a minute so technically we can sustain gardens up to 10, 15,000 square feet of rays with a single pump. When supplemental water is needed in the early, a float switch adds new water to the system and shuts off very similar to your toilet tank. So it's an automatic from a pressurized feedlot. A nice feature of this, if you have to fertilize the garden or put systemic insecticides, once the circulation is established, you can simply dump your fertilizer right into the vault. As long as it's a water-soluble fertilizer, it now dissolves, gets pumped to the first garden, cascades through the chambers to the last garden, and you just let it recirculate for a couple hours. Uh, subsurface Sub fertigation. Subsurface fertigation. And that's it, it's automatic and you can have the pump or supply on a timer.
programmed to be watering once a week. So you can go on vacations, leave the garden alone. The timer will kick on the pump. The pump will withdraw water. The withdrawn water will be have makeup water from the float valve and the system will shut off on your pre-programmed time sequence. So usually running it maybe six hours, it shuts off that one a week cycle. Let's say it comes on on Thursday, shuts off Thursday night or Friday morning, and you never overwater the system, and you never waste any water because it's just recirculating within the system. Yeah, pumps it back up to the top. That's right. it, thank you for listening. Thank you.